Hey guys, this is Heather. I wanted to talk today about some foods that can cause bloating because nobody likes to feel bloated, do we? Particularly as we're moving into summer. So the root cause of bloating is some kind of digestive issue. We're not digesting things as fully as we should if they're making us bloated. And there could be a few reasons for that. One is that we might be sensitive to something specifically. So some people have sensitivities or intolerances that mean they don't digest a specific food as well as the average. And then there are some foods that commonly cause digestive issues. And so I'm gonna talk about five of those today. There are more than that, but these are just five to start with. Number one on my list is dairy. It is one of the most common allergies and intolerances. There are so many people in the world who are lactose intolerant. In fact, a lot of us stop developing the enzyme that we need to digest lactose after we stop breastfeeding. And so that means that we're not digesting it properly. Those enzymes that we produce are what digest the foods that we eat. So if we're not producing lactase, or if we're not producing enough lactase based on the amount of lactose we're ingesting, we're gonna have some issues down the line in our digestive tract. And that can cause bloating. So dairy is one of the most commonly associated foods with bloating. And keep in mind that there are a lot of hidden ingredients in foods that are milk-based. So because I've been allergic to dairy since I was born, I, I'm highly attuned to these ingredients and I look for them all the time. Whey, casein, lactose, any of these things are going to be a dairy ingredient in a product. So if you're looking at the ingredients, look for those things. Luckily, now the allergy labeling has gotten a lot better, and because dairy is one of the major allergens, it will pretty much always list in bold at the bottom of the ingredients, includes dairy in bold with a little asterisk before it. So keep an eye out for that because it's hidden in a lot of things that you might not expect. I certainly wouldn't expect it in granola bars or cereal or even bread a lot of the time. So just take a look at the ingredients and try eliminating dairy. Number two, artificial sweeteners. I'm not sure the mechanism of this, but I guess the artificial sweetener is chemical based and doesn't digest properly. Now this does not include stevia because stevia is a natural sweetener. Artificial sweeteners would be things like sucralose, things in diet soda or gum, Check the ingredients and see if there's some kind of artificial sweetener in there. It might be causing bloating. And now that you've switched from dairy to non-dairy milk, there's an ingredient in a lot of them that's called carrageenan. It's a thickener. It's based in seaweed, so it's quite natural, but it can cause bloating for some people. So if you've done everything else, try switching and making your own homemade non-dairy milks for a little bit and see if that helps. I've got lots of recipes on my channel if you want to give it a try. Soy protein isolate can be quite gas producing. Now it's better than whey, which is dairy, which so many people are intolerant to, but soy protein isolate can also cause some digestive issues, particularly if we're taking a lot. So these would be in things like protein powders and bars. Now you can easily find plant-based protein mixes so things like Vega or Sprout Living. I've done a whole video about plant protein powders and none of them include soy protein isolate. So you can easily get protein powders that don't rely on soy protein isolate. The last one I'm gonna mention specifically today is raw cruciferous vegetables. So this includes cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, kale, anything in the cruciferous family. Now they are fantastic, anti-cancer and all kinds of good stuff in them, but too much can be dangerous. They've got a fiber in them that's very difficult for us to digest and they've also got sulfur compounds which if you think of like sulfur coming off of geysers, it doesn't smell too nice does it? The key with any food is to cook it properly 
and to chew it properly. Those are the first steps of proper digestion. And then cultivating your own digestive system. And sometimes we might need a little bit of help. So supplements like digestive enzymes or probiotics can help you set up the right environment in your digestive system so that things start working properly and then it kind of snowballs in the right direction. And there are some foods that are known to be soothing for digestion, like ginger. So putting fresh ginger in some tea can be lovely for helping your digestion. And then foods like pineapple and papaya have natural digestive enzymes. If the bloating is more extreme, then what you want to do is eliminate anything that you feel suspect of for at least four weeks. And hopefully your bloating will have gone down by then. Then what you can do is one by one, and with a couple days in between, try having the foods that you've been cutting out. Because then you'll see if there is any kind of reaction, whether it's bloating or anything else. So that's basically the strategy in my cleanse programs, focusing on whole plant foods and on things that don't cause reactions. That's the strategy of the Whole30, which is very popular right now. You might have an idea of what it is that's causing your bloating. A lot of time we kind of know in the back of our head what it might be. And when in doubt, keep a food journal. And if you write down your how you're feeling and how, how your digestion is, you can start to correlate with the foods that you've been eating a day or two before. If you want some help getting started, join my May calendar, which is going on right now. You can download a PDF at a link right below this video, and then you can follow through the playlist and you'll have vegan recipes for every day. You can double them up now because we're halfway through the month. And next week you'll notice that our recipes are all very cleansing recipes and members of my program will have a full cleanse plan ready for you. You got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And I will send you out an email. Anyone who's a member, you'll get an email from me on Saturday reminding you that you can go grab the grocery list and the recipes and everything. So I hope everybody enjoys that. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave me your comments and questions down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps for anybody who has some bloating going on and we will talk soon. Bye guys.